I've seen good people do terrible things for the greater good. Our cause is worth any sacrifice. If we do not stand together, we will be crushed. The Empire has no idea what's coming. Let's give them a taste of rebellion. Various spin-offs of the Star Wars franchise have been created with the goal of boosting Disney Plus production line. The new series, Ander, created this realm with lower expectations and was considered a prelude to another prelude. It managed to give the most surprising fantasy TV prelude of this year and satisfy its audience. Hello loyal channel viewers, welcome to our channel. Today I intend to introduce you to the new series Ander, created by Tony Gilroy and analyze its various aspects. But before anything else, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. One of the new series of the Star Wars franchise released in 2022 on Disney Plus. The series events take place five years before the film Rogue One. Ander delves into the backstory of Cassian Ander, Diego Luna, a character we became familiar with in the 2016 film Rogue One, a Star Wars story, which takes place immediately before the original Star Wars film created by George Lucas. As of now, the first season of the series consists of 12 episodes that have been released, with another 12 episodes in the works to conclude the story. Ander has received some criticism regarding its pacing, but overall, it has garnered positive reviews. In terms of direction, screenplay, and the performances of the main actors, Ander has a darker and more mature tone compared to other Star Wars projects. Diego Luna, who is also one of the executive producers of the series, reprises his role as Cassian Ander. Genevieve O'Reilly, an Irish-Australian actress known for her portrayal of Mon Mothma, also plays this role in the series. Stellan Skarsgård appears as Lynn Tenrail, and Adria Arjona plays the character Bix Kalina in Ander. Other actors in the series include Dennis Go, Kyle Soler, Fiona Shaw, and Jacqueline Sieben. The series was shot by cinematographer Jonathan Freeman and Adriana Goldman, with music composed by Nicholas Brittle. Ander has managed to score 91 on Rotten Tomatoes with 419 ratings and an 8.1 rating on IMDb, indicating the widespread positive feedback. Ander has a slow start but is exceptionally engaging. Gilroy maintains a consistent pace, turning Ander into not only one of the best Star Wars television series, but also one of the most intriguing series of 2022. After 45 years since the release of films depicting the civil war between a space fascist and resistance fighters, we are now faced with a series that creatively and entirely explores life under an authoritarian regime. We clearly see how people are subjected to oppression through economic e exploitation, a controlling authoritarian government, and a corrupt police system. Ander showcases different forms of rebellion compared to what we've seen in previous Star Wars works. It's worth mentioning that many robust themes are explored at a fundamental level in this series. For instance, there are episodes where Ander, with his small rebel group, is stationed in the mountains of the planet Alderian. Ander brings out its bets in the second half of the season, especially when Ander leads his escape to a large floating labor camp. Regarding the pacing of Ander, I can say that it doesn't immediately convey the excitement one might expect from a Star Wars series. However, it gets much better and more unique as it progresses, which can be its greatest strength. Some parts of the series, especially the first two episodes, may test your patience due to their slower pace. But over time, it demonstrates that this story is worth following. Ander shows its uniqueness from the beginning, possibly making it the most visually impressive series in this franchise. Additionally, the series was filmed in real environments to provide the viewer with a better sense of immersion. Perhaps the series takes its time, but it can captivate you effectively. Ander carries the rebellious spread of Star Wars within itself. Episodes 3 and 4 of the series pick up the pace significantly and convey tension and excitement effectively. So, it's better to be patient and stick with it until the end of the fourth episode. You won't regret it. The talented cast and the intelligent storyline of the Ander series have managed to bring hope back to the world of Star Wars. 
Ander skillfully narrates the early days of the rebellion through the eyes of a man who hasn't achieved success yet. Well, we've reached to the end of this segment of the movie review channel. If you have any thoughts or specific recommendations, you can share them in the comment sections with me and other users. Your likes and comments motivate us to continue on this path with even more energy. Thank you for being with me until the end. Goodbye.